going on everybody? It's Prophecy and I uh, just thought I would make a quick little video here on um, the Iris Plus. I have recently got this uh, about a month or two ago now and uh, after learning a few kind of hard expensive lessons um, I've made a few modifications to my drone that I thought I would just share with you guys for those of you that are interested um, just to kind of help uh, seal in and protect a few of the things and also to add a few um, additional items to the iris that is going to hopefully prevent me from making those mistakes uh, again so first and foremost you can see that we've got pretty much just a standard iris plus here uh, as this looks like and we've got a turret gopro gimbal mount um, on this with the hero 4 silver hooked up and uh, the biggest basically mistake that i made was uh, learning the battery times i was actually on a return flight and the uh, iris ran out of battery as I was trying to bring it home and it came in uh, not for a crash landing but came in at a very hard uh, basically just an abrupt landing and the stock gear, uh, turret comes with the adapter plate for the iris plus and it's just really made of this really cheap cheesy thin plastic and it essentially just snapped right in half my the metal part of the gimbal just crashed down and, and basically uh, broke the gimbal and cracked my GoPro in the process. Um, I also lost the video transmitter, which uh, the video when you first get the iris tells you to essentially take that video transmitter and use the uh, dual lock Velcro and stick it up here right behind the uh, adapter plate so that you can still open up the door. Um, however, that thing basically just came unvelcroed in that abrupt landing and I lost that video transmitter as well. So to prevent some of these uh, mistakes, basically the first thing that I did was I moved some of these components inside. So I'll go ahead and open this up here and uh, that way you guys can check out basically what I've got going on. And inside here now, uh, you can see basically the standard set of components. We've got the PixHawk, um, we've got the telemetry radio, we've got the uh, GPS pad. And then in the back is where you'll start to see some of the mods that I did. Um, so let me get in here so you guys can see this. So the first thing that I did was I actually brought my video transmitter here up into the uh, main body of the iris. Um, it's still using the uh, dual lock Velcro, which you can see it's still holding it down. Um, however, I brought my cloverleaf antenna out the side here and just took a Dremel and essentially just modified this housing here to put a nice little notch in it right where it was planning on uh, lining up. That way it does not interfere with the closing of the lid whatsoever. Um, that also prevents essentially any damage to the antenna and to the video transmitter while um, you're flying. Then the next thing that I did was I wanted to add some of that telemetry data and just generally warning data to my, um, my GoPro for my FPV. So I added basically a minimum OSD, which is I uh, used the same uh, dual lock Velcro stuck down right here next to it. Um, you can see basically it's taking up just about the rest of that uh, rear end of the real estate. And uh, for my FPV setup, I had to rewire a few different things. And the way I modified my particular iris was to help give me the advantage uh, to not really have to do a lot of uh, opening to this level if I ever wanted to A, take my GoPro off, um, take my uh, gimbal off. Um, I guess that really pretty much sums up that part of it. Um, but what I did was I rewired the uh, video transmitter out. Um, which I might actually go through and make a separate video showing how this was actually wired up because it did take me a little bit uh, of research to figure out how to wire this up. Um, but it is really basic and it is pretty set up, uh, pretty quick to set up. Um, but the one thing that I did was added essentially like little disconnects. I modified the bottom to bring these cables out. And so if you look here, I uh, actually spliced the power internally um, right below this main body plate of the iris and brought one of these, the power for basically the gimbal out and the, the one for the video transmitter, it comes with a splitter. I just modified that, put a different connector on it and stuck it inside the body and that way I'm able to power the video transmitter on the other side um, without actually having to have multiple wires going in and out of the iris body. So the only thing that I pop out is my power here. And then this black and yellow wire are essentially my video and my ground that are coming from my video transmitter. And the reason I did this, what I actually did is I just took a couple of uh, mill pins. I believe these are like 22 gauge mill pins. I put a male and a female on each side here. And then on my GoPro cable, modified it and put the um, mating pin 
on opposite sides so that these will never be able to get mixed up since they're not really color coded here on the uh, on the GoPro cable side and this allows me to basically take my gimbal off completely and only have the uh, roll tilt wires, the power and these couple hanging down versus having to actually go in and remove this cable all the way into the video transmitter which is under the lid now. Um, so this allows me to leave my setup fully intact where my video transmitter and my minimum OSD will get power whether I'm running the FPV or not and I can just choose to have that gimbal setup hooked up. So that's kind of how I prefer to hook this up and that way uh, I have a little bit more flexibility and there's nothing here to damage my um, or nothing additional other than what the needed equipment on the bottom that could potentially be damaged in, in um, event of an accident. So the last thing that I did was added this uh, Lumineer layer lens which is uh, cool because it does protect the lens completely since my first one did get uh, scratched up pretty badly and I had to, I'll have to go ahead and replace that lens as well. Um, but this also uses, uh, essentially can replace the, the, the stock um, GoPro mount which essentially has these two really annoying screws that you have to take on and off every time you want to basically change uh, the battery out or you get your SD card out for the most part. Um, I can kind of weasel mine out but I don't prefer to do it that way. And this essentially allows you to just basically have the Velcro tightly secured on um, since it does fit pretty nice and snug within the mount there itself. So that's pretty much it. Um, uh, it's pretty basic for the mods that I did just to give myself a little bit more protection on some of the uh, additional equipment that you've got to run. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, other than that, I'll probably follow this up with a specific video on connecting the Hero GoPro, the Hero 4 with a minimum OSD and video transmitters. So that's it for now. Uh, until next time guys, peace out.